Hi, I'm in my upstairs bathroom because I wanted to have a talk with everyone on social media, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. I think it's time that those of us that are 50, 60, 70, 80 need to push back. This is a challenge for those of you that are older and wiser. My big thing is why do social media algorithms focus on the youth? Why is that? Instead of pushing all of that the way it is, why not give credence to the wisdom that comes with getting older? And I'm not just talking about what goes on in the beauty industry. It's across the board. Think about it. When you see somebody that is older and you find out what their age is and you think, oh my goodness, how is it even possible that they are as old as they say they are? They look so young because the emphasis is on being young. Now, I think it is a tragedy that there is a division between youth and elders. Years and years ago, it wasn't that way. The youth would go to their elders to get wisdom or to discuss things that maybe they couldn't talk to their parents about because their parents were so busy making a living. And now it almost seems like those of us that are getting older, we are getting pushed out of the picture in so many ways. You know, when you stop and think about even financially, okay, but on my focus today, is on the beauty industry and social media and even the algorithms that are associated with social media. You have to be a celebrity in order to get traction with age. And I find that really sad because with the population of the elderly on this planet, many of them are on social media. They're on the internet because they've had no choice. They're being forced to have to do this, even though they would rather spend time outside in their gardens or taking their pets for a walk. They are being forced to have to do banking and to check their medical records. And so if that's the case, then those of us that are getting older need more recognition. So I'm kind of pushing back on this. I think more older people that are coming on to social media platforms like YouTube, that have something to say, some wisdom to give our youth, the algorithms need to change and be reset. An equal opportunity across the board. You know, if I were to look at a beauty video and I were to say type something in, 
the videos that come up show much younger people. But does that mean that because I'm 63 years old, I don't enjoy wearing makeup? Does that mean because I'm getting wrinkles on my skin and I don't want to go out and make myself expending a lot of money, look 20 years younger, that I'm not a credible human being? There is a problem with this. And as I get older, I'm probably going to be more vocal about it. This is one of the reasons why I decided to start a YouTube channel. Because I remember when I was 10, 11, 12 years old, riding my bike down the street. Yes, we lived closer together back then, but I spent a couple of my summers with my grandmother and my grandfather. And my grandmother taught me how to play cards, how to crochet, taught me about transplanting plants, listened to me when I was having a bad day because my parents were busy raising us, making money, and it was a refuge for me to go. I had a really great relationship with my grandmother on my mother's side. And today, everybody is so busy that it seems, and I don't know how true this is, it seems like we are getting pushed aside. And not just by our youth, but by the whole industry of beauty, the whole industry of the internet. And I want to see that change. If you are older, particularly in your 60s and 70s, and your mind is still intact, and you're on social media and you have something of value to say, why don't you jump on the bandwagon and start speaking out? I get tired of watching older women talk about what they do to make themselves look younger. That's not what I'm interested in. I'm interested in watching older women use their skincare or put makeup on in a, in a way that really looks nice on them for their age, going from coloring their hair to embracing their gray, the kinds of things that they're doing to make themselves healthy. Okay, these are the things that interest me. But it's almost as if you have to walk back 20 years in order to be seen. And I'm just not going to do that. And I'm encouraging you to do the same if you are in your 60s and your 70s and you want a voice on social media. You know, life is short. My first husband died at 37 years old after three open heart surgeries. And at that point in my life, I was only 34, 35 years old. I was young with three small children and nothing else mattered to me. All of the things that I thought were important in life disappeared. The new furniture, the new clothes, the up and coming trends, boom, fell to the ground. All of those kinds of things did not have meaning to me anymore. And at some point, 
you younger people, in your life, you will experience something that will either make you or break you. And you're going to look at your life and you're going to say to yourself, how come I'm so on the surface? How come I haven't changed my insides because I've been so focused on my outsides? The other thing that drives me absolutely crazy is I was 94 pounds. I'm four feet, 11 inches tall. I was 94 pounds soaking wet when I got married. And I stayed between 94 and 105, even through my pregnancies. Always lost my weight. And then I reached a certain age when I got remarried and got pregnant again where it was a lot harder to lose that weight. And I love you, my son, but you wrecked havoc on my body. And it's never been the same. And, you know, I used to look at my body and think, oh, I can't, you know. I look at my body now. And I thank God that I was able to be pregnant at 35, 36 years old and conceive a son because I had three daughters and acquire a stepson and acquire all of the children that are coming after me because of the birth and the creation that came from me. Listen, you are more than this. You are more than this. You are a soul. And your soul is what is going to pass on. Your body is not. So, all of you young people out there, start looking in here. Who am I? Why am I here? Why am I on social media even? Is it to show how beautiful I am and how youthful I am and how that's always the way it's going to be? Because it's not. And all these social media platforms, you guys need to change. Because there are many women and many men out there that have some really wonderful things to say to our youth and to each other on a global scale. So that's my rant for today. That's my pushback. I really am passionate about this because ageism is a thing. And I've been talking about this for a long time, even before I started my YouTube channel. How instead of embracing our elderly, we want to push them out of the way. If you young people cared so much about your parents and your people in your life, you would lovingly try to explain to them a different way of looking at things. They may not agree with you, but instead of arguing with them, explain to them, love them. Because even those that are much older, they might not have the communication skills to tell you how much they love you. They weren't taught that. But they do. And if you want to push them out of your life, 
because of something that was said. You're not looking at the big picture. Yeah, there are valid reasons for some of you. But it doesn't have to be an across-the-board thing that everybody does because it's a trend. Or because somebody with a voice says, this is what's going on and it's all over the internet and it's all over social media. And so some young person looks at this and goes, yeah, gee, my dad yelled at me last week for doing something. I think he's abusive and I think he's trying to destroy me. And they go off on this tangent. Well, it's the same thing with us as we're getting older. Okay, things were not the same back then. We've got to change too. It's not just them. It's all of us. YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, and on and on and on. WhatsApp, all of them. I'm not on every social media. I have enough to handle what I handle. Take these words of wisdom and start being inclusive, not just in what's trending, but in many different veins. And I hope you hear me. Yep, this is me. No makeup. Long gray hair because this is what I want. And my body's not perfect. But I'm okay with all of it because inside here is what I want people to see. And sometimes I am bold, but that's okay. I see bold people all over the place, particularly younger people. Think about that. So we should be able to be that way too. Okay. I'm tired of the stigmas. I'm tired of the discrimination. And I'm tired of the derogatory concepts around age. If you're doing a video and you're an older person and you talk about wearing this particular item or putting this particular thing on your face, the emphasis is on making us, talking about my age and up, look younger. That is ageism. It's very subtle. We all want to look our best. But when the emphasis is on getting rid of fine lines and wrinkles, getting rid of these deep wrinkles, getting rid of these lines right here, changing every aspect of who we are and who we have become, all our trials and our errors, uh, yeah, our trials and our errors, our changes, these are a gift. They shouldn't be looked down on. They should be embraced. Because it's those things that make us who we are. And as we grow older and we mature and we gain more wisdom, we have that gift to give those that are younger, and they will have their day. But we can be there to help them along and tell them they're beautiful just the way they are. And they will get through it. So don't throw us out. Embrace us. Give us a platform that is bigger than it is. Okay? That's my message for today. I love you all. Be well. Be blessed. 
Be beautiful because you are, because there is something beautiful about you in particular that nobody else has. And so it is. Until next time. Mwah. I love you.